Hi guys, it's Tiffy BJD Crafts. And um, this month was my birthday. It was my birthday month. And I got um, eight blythes um, from AliExpress, you know, factory blythes. And I got six of them in. And I decided to do a video because they came in their own individual little boxes. How cute is that? Um, I think the other two I bought was from a different company, so I don't know. It's, you know they may just be wrapped up in plastic like they usually are. But I think this company, I don't think it's on here. Um, yeah. This company was Start On You, I believe. Let me see if I can get it open. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. And then the box is just empty, but it's still cute. I'm still very surprised that it came with boxes. And I can um, recycle these. So I always try to, you know, recycle stuff like that. I got a bunch of gifts I want to send out to my friends so I'll probably be putting them in those boxes <laughs> so if you get a box it's probably not a Blythe but uh, her hands are all crooked this body is definitely different than the other bodies I've gotten like this one's shiny, and I can't get her. There we go. Her uh, elbow joint was on backwards. Oh, I need a trash can. Put that there. So, uh, I realized I didn't have a blonde, so I think I bought two different kind of blondes. But these will make, um, out of Blythe, I think her breasts are bigger than my other ones as well. See if I can go to sleep. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Uh, let's see. Um, I always change their eyes, but I'm going to show you anyways, um, just in case. Somebody wants to see them. Oh, well, now the light probably would would have been better. <laughs> this is my husband's office, by the way. Um, my office is turned into a frog room, and there's crickets, and um, it's just not set up for filming right now. I still have shelves with my dolls on them, but the blue eyes are pretty. Yeah, I like those. But I'm going to make, well, I'm having made my, um, what is it called? A console table. One of those long skinny tables like you put behind a couch. Well, I'm having one made to be on the back of uh, the day bed in my my extra room or whatever. And along that wall is where I'm going to put all my blinds. Cause <laughs> these make 28 now that I have. I'm definitely, these days, more into blinds than BJDs. Um, mostly because I like that um, they're more dirty for me because if I drop it I don't have to worry so much if I break it. I mean it'd obviously suck if I broke it but it's not going to cost me hundreds of dollars like if I broke one of my BJDs so but I still try to be careful. Her knees are different too. I'm not sure what body this is but I like it. I got 
have more to go and I'm just looking at one. And I'm five minutes in. <laughs> okay, so this is the other blonde. This technically is only my second one that has the straight hair because I tend to like the more wavy or curly hair. Um, but I bought one with straight hair and I ended up loving it. Because um, I, I really like playing with their hair. That's another thing I really love about Blythe. Because I don't have to worry about their wigs flying off. I actually started hot gluing my BJD wigs on because I was tired of them coming off. Um, but. It's pretty. I'll probably do a treatment on her hair because it feels a little greasy. Just slightly, not too much though. And she has blue eyes. With pink. Yellow. And orange. Those two will probably end up being like sisters. and feet. Cute. <laughs> yeah, her hair is a little greasy as well. I wonder if they all have the same eyes. Cause they all came from the same listing. Move her hair out of the way so you can see. Yeah, orange, yellow, pink, and blue. Yeah, they may all have the same eye chips, but I changed the eye chips anyway, so. But her hair is pretty. I've been wanting one with this color hair for a while because it's uh, my sister's color hair. It has like a, a slightly red, but it's like a light red. I don't know how, what to call it, but it's really pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, I love it. My sister's hair is like paper straight though. And again, it's on blue eyes, so I think they all have the same eyes. Let me see. Yeah, it's all the same eyes. So cute.
is a slightly darker, but um, more straight. Oh, no. All their face ups are the same, which I'll be changing whenever I get a chance, which will probably be a while. Um, these will probably last me a good bit before I get through them, but I still like, you know, looking at the, uh, the blank ones, too. And then I have two reborn kits to show you. It's like a powdery pink. Which I have I have a powdery pink one, but her hair's short. Like it's the short pink, which is really pretty too. But I wanted the long one as well. Um, and these were eighteen fifty, so eighteen dollars and fifteen cents each, and you get a joint your body in a box. So I think that's a pretty good deal for a Factory Blythe. Um, and I like the bodies too. It's, it's like the, I guess, double jointed. And it, it's more, it's a sturdier body than my other ones. I wish I, wish I would have brought one in, but I didn't realize that they would have different bodies. But my other ones are matte and they flop over a little more easily. I really like that these are sturdier because it'll make things easier on me. Well, her eyes aren't changing. I wonder if her spring isn't connected. Yeah, her eyes aren't changing, but they're in there, so that's good. It does look like her, let's see, her eyes are a, a cheaper, I, well, I don't know if they're cheaper, but they're a little bit more, um, translucent than the other ones. Like the white part isn't like stark white. So they, it may be a cheaper plastic. But again, the other ones were like $40 a piece, and these were 18 so. I, I guess it's, it's to be expected. Overall, though, I'm happy. So, okay, we're at 14 minutes. Um, I bought several different Reborn kits because, um, Reborning is something I can still do. It doesn't take a lot of strength. It's just, you know, like that. And my mom likes to root, so I don't have to worry about rooting. Um, but I'm not doing customs anymore. I'm just going to make what I can when I can and list what I have. And if people like it, they like it. And if they don't, they don't. Um, because everything's taking me so much longer than it should. Because I get... So wiped out and anything that takes any amount of um, muscle or strength is just uh, not doable <laughs> at the moment. Um, so like opening and closing my pressure pots 
it's too much so I've stopped casting. I am going to start casting in a different kind of resin for um, aquarium and habitat stuff with um, zoo approved resin and it doesn't need to go in the pressure pot. Um, but that has nothing to do with dolls, that's just what I'm doing. Um, and I think I'm going to open a another Etsy shop for the terrarium and habitat stuff. I did like a bunch of mushrooms and they're, they're really cute. I posted that on my frog Instagram. Um, so if anyone is interested in that, it's Tiffy BJ, no, Tiffy, Tiffy's Frogs. Everything's Tiffy something, but it's Tiffy's Frogs. Um, and I think I'm going to be leaning, focusing a lot more on that because I have like 22 frogs now and um, they're all beautiful and healthy and they're all in uh, bioactive tanks and I've talked about filming them before but I just never have so maybe that's something I'll do. But anyway, back to the Reborns. Um, this one is a, a satyr and a... I thought this one was really cute. I thought it was a pre-order, but I guess it was. I guess they had it in stock. But I ordered a bunch of different fantasy kits, and I only bought one per kit because I have a problem of buying multiple and uh, spending too much money, basically. Um, so I I bought the little bat kit, and I bought. Okay, you probably can't see because I'm moving everything around. I bought the bat kit, I bought the squid kit, and then the satyr, and then I have these two. Anyways, basically, I really like this artist and I've bought a lot of their kits. So, um, if that's something you're interested, you can check out my Reborn Instagram, <laughs> which is Tiffy's Reborn Monsters. I keep everything separate because for me it's easier to keep things in categories. But I do know, I realize that that could be overwhelming for people, but... Okay, so this is the... Seder kit, and I'll try to do this quicker because I'm at 18 minutes. I really should have made this two different videos, so I might split it. So if it's, yeah, I think I'll probably split it so I don't have to rush. Um, but he's like crying, or like, yeah, I guess he's crying. He's like whining. He has the horns already molded in, which is nice. Because um, several of my kids, I put my horns in them, and um, that's just nice. I don't have to worry about doing that. Because they're already there. And I really like him because of his legs. Which, um, Bountiful Baby has a little deer baby too now so I may get that one I'm not sure I'm still not sure if I want to buy from them because I'm still trying to figure things out but I thought that was cute the little hoofy hoofs and I like how they're actually separated it's, just, it's like the little details And it came with this cloth body, which is nice. Yeah, for the most part, I think most companies have the cloth bodies to come with the dolls, but Bountiful Baby doesn't. It's his little hands, which are human hands. Super cute. Super cute. And then this. A part I really like. So this is his body, which is a solid piece. And then it has a tail. It has a little tail on the bum bum. I thought that was so cute. 
<laughs> That's super cute. Oh, I should have kept his bag. I don't mess with his body. And this one's a teeny tiny elf. I have a bunch of reborn kits. I really should do like a video. Um, Cause I have another little elf kit that I haven't done anything with that I bought like last spring. Cause I haven't had time. I haven't had time to do anything, but. That was cute. And then the rest is just, you know, little tiny hands and little tiny feet. I have two, no, I have a vamp, like a, a vampire baby and then I have a bat baby coming in. Um, but I'm really excited for the vampire baby one. Um, cause I had been following that artist on Instagram and was watching her process of her sculpting it and then I had the opportunity to get a prototype kit so I'm, I'm super excited about those look at the tiny little feet so tiny so cute and she just comes with a cloth but I guess that's it. Yeah. So thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>